Hey, before we jump into any division rules, let's talk about just the two types of division we have to make sure you're comfortable with those. So first of all, we've got what's called partitive division. And partitive is when you know the number of groups and the unknown is the group size. So imagine this as you're splitting something up into equal size parts. That's the partitive. So we're gonna use a, the same example for the two types of division, but let's just show you how the interpretation thereof is different. So for example, if we're gonna use a partitive division, and I'm trying to solve the problem 12 divided by four, I'm saying that I know I want four groups. So I'm going to give myself one, two, three, four groups, and one at a time, I'm going to take my group of 12, I'm going to put things into those four groups. So take a circle off there, put it here, make sure it looks like a better circle. Okay, so I'll take another circle off there, and then I'll put it here, and take another circle off here, and put it here, and then I'll take another circle off here, and I'll put it down here in this group. And you can see what we're doing. We're just filling the groups the same way. So really quickly, I'll go through the others. So we've just taken these 12 things, put them into four equal size groups, and the size of the group is then three, because each group has the same size, thus three. Okay, now that's partitive division. Now let's take a look at measurement division. Measurement division says we know what size group we want, but we just don't know is how many groups we have. So in this case, 12 divided by 4 looks a little bit different because what I want is I want a group of size 4. So I'll take 1, 2, 3, 4 things out of here, put them in one group. Okay, so I filled up that group of size 4. Let's do another one. One, two, three, four, and I'll fill up another group. And I still haven't finished emptying out my original group, so I'll do that once more. One, two, three, four. And so now, knowing the group size, the number of groups I can make are three. So in this case, we have three represents the number of groups, not the size of the group. So those are the two types of division, and you're gonna to wanna to keep those handy, keep those definitions handy rather, so that way as we work through the fractions, those concepts will make more sense to you.